Hey YouTube, it's Mel. How's it going? Um, I know I said that I was going to go ahead and do the video about the books that I have yesterday when I uploaded the first video, but I was trying to decide if I wanted to wait for an Amazon package that I have coming that's got some books in it. Um, in the end, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and do the video about the books that I already have, and I'll include those new books in a future haul video after I get them. So, without further ado... Oh, speaking of, um, this has to do with one of the video series that I was considering doing. Um, I was thinking I could do a series of videos of book reviews about different Wiccan and Wiccan books and books about witchcraft and magic and whatnot. Um, if you guys would be interested in that, just let me know. I kind of want to go into a little more detail than just, like, what's on the cover jacket of the book or reviews that are online because there's so much more to helping you figure out the right books for you to help you learn on your path um, such as the author's tone how in-depth they go into different topics and whatnot and I'd really like to help you guys with that so let me know if you guys would be interested and here's the video so the first book I'm using an envelope is a bookmark because I'm currently reading with this one this is Wicca for Beginners by Thea Sabin. Fundamentals of Philosophy and Practice. This is the back of the book. Some of these books I bought used from Amazon, so they might have library stickers and whatnot from libraries that sold them. Um, but I'm currently reading this one, so if I do the video series of book reviews, this would be the first one. So like, comment, let me get, let me know if you guys are interested in that series. Also, I will take requests for books. I'm not make it made of money, so I can't promise that I'll get every book that you guys suggest. But if there's a book that you'd like to me to do a review on, just comment it below. Or if I start the video series, make comments about that request that you'd like to see reviewed. Okay. The next book I'll show you is The Witch's Almanac. This is the Spring 2014 to 2015 edition. It's very important to have an almanac as they have a lot of information, especially about moon phases, sunrise times, sunset times, information about weather. Um, you could get a basic, the farmer's almanac, but I like getting the witch's almanac just because it's got more information relevant to me, like cells, rituals, articles about Wicca and witchcraft and paganism. And I really like having this because of that. Then I've got Wicca Craft, the Modern Witches uh, Book of Herbs, Magic, and Dreams by Jarena Dunwich. That's the back of it. And this is one of the books that I didn't get to read. Um, I kind of had a little bit of a falling off from my path became less dedicated than I should have been and ended up not getting around to reading this book so I'm really looking forward to reading it though it is a bit small but I like my books thick um, but I'm sure there's plenty of information in here I especially like that it talks about dreams so next this is another book that I didn't this one I got about halfway through and didn't complete this is a witch's bible the Complete Witch's Handbook by Janet and Stuart Farrar. It's a collection of two books by them, Eight Sabbaths for Witches and The Witch's Way. That's the back of it. This is the thick book. Now the authors are on the Alexandrian path and I'm an eclectic Wiccan. There are some things that I don't agree with that they do in here and it mostly talks about working in a coven and I am solitary. So those don't exactly apply to me, but I firmly believe in taking what resonates with you, what works for you, and leaving what doesn't. So you can pretty much get helpful information or learn something from just about any book um, if you take it that way. So I do look forward to completing this book, especially because I like that it's got information on the Sabbaths. I really like reading about the Sabbaths. This is Wicca for One, The Path of Solita Solitary Witchcraft by Raymond Buckland. Um, this is one that I have read. Raymond Buckland is a pretty big name in the Wiccan community. He's credited 
with bringing Wicca to the United States and created his own path. I believe it's called Sea Wicca or So Wicca, S-E-A-X hyphen Wicca. Um, but he gives a lot of information. I have another book by him as well as an ebook, but I'm going to buy a physical copy of that as well and I'll tell you more about that in a minute. This is the Wicca Handbook. Um, this is one of the editions. This book has multiple editions. I got this one because I liked the cover art for this one. Um, it's by Eileen Holland. That's the back of it. Um, this was a really great read. I really enjoyed this book. Um, so I look forward to doing the review on it. Now I've got a couple books here that a cat got a hold of. Luckily, didn't mess up any of the actual information, just like the title page and a page that lists some of the chapters. But this is Solitary Wicca for Life by Erin Murphy Hiscock, the a complete guide to mastering the craft on your own. I really like Erin Murphy Hiscock. Uh, the books that they write are pretty awesome. Um, I've got another book by Erin Murphy Hiscock as well, also an ebook. This is my other book that a cat got a hold of, as you can see. Um, this is The Craft, A Witch's Book of Shadows by Dorothy Morrison. That's the front cover. That is the back. Um, this was a really interesting read. I, it was kind of fun. Um, there are some things in here that I don't agree with, but then there are also some really amazing um, bits of information and so I would highly recommend this one. Just take everything you read with a grain of salt, um, take what works for you, what feels comfortable for you, leave out what makes you feel uncomfortable, what doesn't resonate with you. Okay. This is one of my favorite books. It's A Gear of Ritual, Sabbaths, and Esbats for Solitaries and Covens by Sandra Kynes or Keens. I'm not entirely... If I pronounce any of these names wrong, I'm sorry. Um, I'm not the best with names. But if you're anything like me, this book was extremely helpful for me because the Wicca 101 books would give like an introduction to rituals but then they'd kind of expect you to just know what to do from there to just know how to make up your own rituals right off the bat and I kind of needed a little bit of guidance so this is really nice because it's got rituals in it and I can use them as a soundboard as a template to make my own or I can use the ones that are in here and it gave me a lot more information about how to do perform and create rituals and I really really appreciated that because I was really lost and a little bit overwhelmed by what the Wicca 101 books were telling me because they just were just telling me like basically do these things and that's a ritual now go make your rituals like I don't really know I kind of needed an example if that makes sense um these next two books are by one of my favorite Wiccan authors. Sadly, he's no longer with us, Scott Cunningham. He has several books out. I used to have two more of his, but I gave them away to a friend. Um, but this is Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner. He, his, This is the first book that I read, and he is the one who instilled the idea in my head of reading and learning whatever I can and then taking what works for me, what resonates with me, and make incorporating it into my personal path and leaving out what doesn't. Um, and this is the back of the book. He has several other books and I plan to eventually own all of them. So if you're interested in reviews on all of them, I can probably do that. <laughs> um, then I also have Living Wicca, a further guide for the solitary practitioner, which is the sequel to that book. And this one's really excellent because you get so bombarded with so much information in the Wicca 101 books, and this one tells you how to incorporate Wicca into your everyday life. Um, Deborah Blake also has some books that help do that really well that I used to have and I'm planning to get again. Okay. And that's it for my physical copies of books that I currently have. I've got more on the way and I plan to buy... You should see my Amazon wish list. So many more. Um, 
then these are my ebooks. I've got True Magic by Amber K. Grimoire for the Green Witch by Anne Mora. Another copy of Witch's Almanac. Then I have the Witch's Spell a Day Almanac. The Goddesses in the Details by Deborah Blake. The Inner Temple of Witchcraft by Christopher Penzak. The Modern Day Spellbook by R. Martin. The Book of Spells by R. Martin. Uh, Power Spellcraft for Life by Aaron Murphy Hiscock. How to See and Read the Aura by Ted Andrews. I have an ebook copy of Wicca for Beginners by Thea Zebin that I got before I got the physical copy. Um, the Witch's Book of Spells by R. Martin. All One Wicca by Katrin Katrine McMorgan Douglas. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, Wicca A Year and a Day by Timothy Roderick. He has another one of this so that you can do a second year of a year and a day. And I'm planning to use those as kind of like my guidebooks. Though I might not do everything exactly as they say it. Just because he has a lot of hard to find items that he asks you to get. And some items are pretty expensive. So I'm just going to modify the ones that I can't exactly just go out and do. Or go out and get the items for to work for me. Um... And then Buckland's Complete Book of Witchcraft by Raymond Buckland, um, extremely informative, has excellent exercises in it. Um, but those are the books that I have. So once again, let me know if you guys would like to see reviews on those. Um, let me know if you'd like me to go ahead and do the video series about what I'm learning as I go through my Wiccan year and a day of study. And that's all I've got for you guys today. So have an awesome day wherever you are. Blessed be.